As Ian moves back into the Atlantic, Trutland County Schools say they will take precautions. That's why tomorrow they're going to shut down. Molly Jett was in Soperton earlier today talking with school leaders. As you can tell by my hair, it is pretty windy here in Trueland County and cloudy. And while the school system is taking all of that into account, they're playing it on the safe side. So on Friday, they're keeping their students at home. Trueland County schools have about 1,000 students and one building. It houses their elementary, middle and high school students. Middle and high school principal Brandon Tucker says all three will close tomorrow. Here in Soperton, we don't have to deal with it as much being a little further inland, but of course those uh, outer bands of the hurricanes are all, always a concern. Some of their students live on back roads and with the wind picking up, Tucker says those roads can turn to mud. Even though the main hurricane may not hit right here in Soperton, we do know that there are, um, could be high winds, could be excessive rain that might be, cause a problem. Some of our families also live on uh, roads that may not be paved uh, that may cause a, uh, a danger for those buses going down the road. Jack Olin Johnson has one Trutland County middle schooler and two high schoolers. It's a wonderful place to be in a great school system. Johnson says it's good to be prepared. You got to be prepared for everything. Everybody should be home, you know, getting prepared. I think it's always a good thing. The point of a school closure, we don't like doing that, but it's for safety reasons, and so we would encourage everybody to just stay safe, make sure you've got the appropriate supplies, and, um, you know, try and stay out of it. Tucker says the goal is to open school back up on Monday, depending on if they have any damage. In Soperton, Molly Jett, 13 W, and Maisie News. Trutland County teachers will not assign any virtual work for Friday. Some extracurricular activities have been postponed over the Trutland County football game against Wilcox County. Still happens. That's tonight at 630 in Rochelle.